Welcome to today's Bible reading from John's Gospel. And uh, today is Sunday and we're waiting for uh, an announcement from the Prime Minister about possibly relaxing the lockdown regulations and restrictions. We'll find out later today what that involves. Uh, but there's lots of discussion, lots of debate, quite a lot of disagreement about the degree of relaxation that there needs to be. And today we read a passage in the Gospel of John where there is an argument and uh, between the followers of John and the followers of Jesus. And we just see how John, John the Baptist, uh, handles that disagreement, that problem, that division. Let's read together John chapter 3 and verse 22. After this, Jesus and his disciples went out into the Judean countryside, where he spent some time with them and baptized. Now John also was baptizing at Anon near Salim, because there was plenty of water, and people were coming and being baptized. This is before John was put in prison. An argument developed between some of John's disciples and a certain Jew over the matter of ceremonial washing. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, that man who was with you on the other side of the Jordan, the one you testified about, look, he's baptizing and everyone is going to him. To this John replied, a person can receive only what is given them from heaven. You yourselves can testify that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I'm sent ahead of him. The bride belongs to the bridegroom. The friend who attends the bridegroom waits and listens for him and is full of joy when he hears the bridegroom's voice. That joy is mine and it is now complete. He must become greater and I must become less. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted it has certified that God is truthful. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the Spirit without limit. The Father loves the Son and has placed everything in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. Now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was beginning and baptizing more disciples than John, although in fact it was not Jesus who baptized but his disciples. So he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Just went over into chapter for there. We see a dispute. We see a dispute over ceremonial washing. And there was a tradition of baptism, but it was a more of a kind of regular ceremonial washing in the Jewish faith at this time, rather than a once for all baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Now, here's a disagreement. Here's a problem. Here's competition between Jesus and John, oh, not really Jesus and John, but some people were saying Jesus was baptizing more than John. He was uh, uh, superseding him, the, the kind of religious conflict in the marketplace, the religious marketplace, the religious economy was going in Jesus' favor. John was losing his share of market share. Actually, Jesus, it says Jesus wasn't the one baptizing. It was his disciples that actually doing the disciples, doing the baptizing. When Jesus heard about it, he just kind of withdrew and it doesn't have anything to do with it in terms of a competition. John explains a little bit more. And he says, a person can only receive what is given to them from heaven. You've just got to do what God gives you to do. If that's small or big, large, whatever it is, just do what God's given you to do. Don't worry about what other people are doing and how much apparent success they're having in whatever God's giving them. We can only receive, we can only do what he gives us to do from heaven what our assignment is and for some of us our assignments are large huge responsibilities for some of us our assignments are quite small and mundane apparently it's like the parable of the talents that jesus has some are giving 10 talents some five talents some only one talent but we have to use what god's given to us and not envy not be jealous not compete with other people not compare ourselves with other people and John refuses to do that he realizes the most important thing is Jesus 
is Jesus that he's been preparing the way for. Jesus is the bridegroom and John's in the position of being the best man. The best man doesn't hog all the limelight for himself. Well, sometimes they do, but they shouldn't. Uh, the real job is to decrease so that the bridegroom can increase in importance and prominence. You see, it's our attitude to Jesus that counts. Not the competition between different churches, different traditions, different denominations, but Jesus. We unite around him. And we need to be careful of ourselves, that we don't compare ourselves with other people and how much apparent success or greatness they've done or have achieved. It's Jesus. We must decrease. He must increase. It is our attitude to him which determines our eternal destiny, not which religious club we belong to. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we love you. We thank you that you are the lover of our souls. We ask you to help us to take our right place under your authority and to accept whatever assignments, whatever place you've given to us, not to compare ourselves with others, not good to compete with others, but to simply follow you and the tasks and the responsibilities that you've given us to do. Humbly, like John, accepting our position in the world. Thank you, God, that you fit each one of us for our unique niche, for our unique place and unique calling. Help us to accept where you've placed us, what you've given us to do, and to follow you, Jesus in the whole of our lives, from the centre of our hearts. Amen. Amen. So, today's Sunday.